Greetings and welcome back to Foundation. I'm Catherine of Sky and I've just been looking at our beautiful little village or town or whatever and it is fabulous. I've just been kind of remembering our first start where we were looking at the, the, the profile of our village this direction until we built this magnificent church and we turned around the camera uh, to see it from another angle. Our stone cutters here and all the, the fishing huts and how things have grown and how things are it really looks very much like a medieval village, which is what um, was promised with this game. I love that it is not grid based. It's fantastic. So last time we did a number of things and we finally got our monastery to start uh, getting built. And we decided that we were going to have a farm around here and possibly a sheep farming um tech area over here uh, where we might have I think I'll just double this production I think this might be what we need here do we have enough stuff I keep wondering if like two sheep huts can provide one weaver I don't know if it's based on employees like we have one shepherd so these are two people providing to two people and then we had enough uh, cloth that we could have one tailor and then another one tailor. So uh, maybe it's people based production. I don't know in terms of ratios, uh, but I think we'll just kind of duplicate this. So two sheep huts, one uh, weaver's hut and then two tailors. I, and I think that would be a good idea. I might, you know, what? I might actually build another one of these warehouses because that might be some of the issue is that we're not getting uh, materials moved around fast enough. So I want to start doing that as well. So let's build ourselves um, a warehouse. First of all, let's just do it south of this part there. Well, we have a nice, long, beautiful road going into this village section or this housing section, I should call it. Um, I like that. All right. So I think we're going to build kind of outward. We'll build our weavers huts, not weavers huts, the other huts, <laughs> the tailors workshops. That's what we need. Build one on this side of the road, like right here, and then have one behind it like this. Actually, somebody mentioned about the signs. I wonder what way they go in. They do go in this way with the sign. Yep, so that's that's good to know. Uh, right, so we need our tailor's workshop. Another one here. Let's have this one here. We'll have a, a fairly okay crossroads here. And then we want our tailor's workshop to be here as well. Uh, no, not our tailor. Oh my god, what am I saying? Weaver's hut. Weaver's hut. Yes, uh, weaver's hut. Wow, what direction do they go in? Okay, the direction with the door. Mm -hmm. The little uh, roof over there. Let's see, Weaver's Hut. Here we go. Have this maybe curve a little bit, maybe. But it's nice to have all these buildings very close together. Now, I think I might want to build a well somewhere around here so that these people don't have to walk so far for water. So we'll build that right outside the entry to the church and we'll say, wow, we have an easy place to get uh, baptismal water uh, for the services there. All right, what do we got next? We need to build a sheep farm or two. In fact, we'll build a couple right across from here. I think this would be a good spot here, one there. And then we'll build one along this side like that. I like to vary the position just so to make it look nicer. But there we go. We have stuff going. So let's speed up the game a little bit as we're <clears throat> waiting for these buildings to get completed. I hope we should have um, enough builders. This I don't know if we will, but hopefully. Let's go ahead and assign some of these people to their jobs. Uh, or, you know what, we might even want to assign them once the houses are built so that um, we'll assign people at the places where we actually need them first. Because I was thinking if these uh, clothing huts get finished first, they could use this extra amount of cloth to make their products. Same thing with the weaver's hut and, and such like that. All right. Two new villagers are joining our colony. We still need to build the wooden keep. I kind of am saving that for last. 
Um, in the meantime, though, I suppose we really should um, stop all trade of stone. I don't know if we're trading any. Let's check. All right. We want to say no trade because I would really like to build a stone bridge across here. Something like a magnificent stone bridge across here. Uh, let's see what we need for this. Let's go and look at stone bridge. Place it down. Start there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, there's what we want to do, probably. Move this couple segments, maybe, like that. What is that looking like? 683 stone for this. Wow. That is... <laughs> that's a lot of stone. Um, can we make this smaller? No, we don't want to make it smaller. We want to have this looking like this. We can move this edge, though. And change this a little bit like this, possibly. Oh, go away. We're keeping it all, don't you know? Yes. I don't know if I like that at all. Looks kind of strange. Uh, this end seems to be too much, but then we don't have the arches if we don't go that much. I feel like it should be shifted. The whole thing shifted across. Can I move it that way? No. Uh, 673 for this bridge. It is very impressive looking. It is the spot where I want it to be going, kind of around this bend near the church. Um, so that's, uh, that seems okay. We can make one of these people a tailor. Do, 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 a tailor. Okay, nice. Two new people joined our village. All right, 673 stone. It's going to be <laughs> very expensive. We could save on stone by going at the very narrowest part here, but I really want to have this bridge at the corner. I think it looks kind of cool. So we're just going to keep that that way. All right, 673, meow. The meow is going to be very, very real. We might even have to have another work, sh another, uh, um, what do you call it? These um, storage places to hold all that stuff. All right, we have assign villagers to this here. Assign a tailor. This tailor should be already there. Yes, excellent. It's interesting we're getting so many people from the Borg colonies here. Uh, oh, I can assign these people already. We can call them a shepherd. Yay. All right, female 72, you will also be a shepherd. So that way they'll get into these houses uh, first thing. The only thing we need to do is uh, spawn the sheep. That's pretty important to do. How are we doing here uh, with this construction? Waiting for a builder. Why are we waiting for a builder? It's most interesting. All right, we have 1900 butter. This is great. We're doing really well. Are we just short on builders altogether? Let's see. Job. We have four builders. What are you doing? Fetching resources. Okay. Florence, you are building. Ah, okay. So we've kind of gotten everybody out of whack here. You're building that one. Reinhardt, what are you doing? You're filling your needs and going to work. But of course, we also have people upgrading houses occasionally as well. So we did build five buildings here, which is... Uh, a lot so one two three four sheep until we get that message about abusing and it seems like that is enough for this whole thing oh we got 21 t-shirts excellent most excellent this is very good i'm quite happy with this all right let's get this uh warehouse in order so if we go down to the bottom ah we do see the unemployed at the bottom here that's quite nice let's assign people here ah uh, those two are good Let's assign all the pieces of what we need here. T-shirts and wool and cloth. And I don't know what the other one has. Let's find out. This one has gloss. Uh, we don't need gloss here. We can add something else maybe. We'll see. This is nice having this well. I like this well right in front of the church. This is so picturesque. I love this church. It looks so pretty. Just the, the, the shingles and the way it looks. The stained glass window, very, 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 just gorgeous. I'm, I'm in love with the church. Sorry. Uh, it looks very nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
much. All right, we have an abundance of stuff. We have tons of tools. I wonder if we should sell some. Let's see. Uh, very likely not because they're very expensive to make. Neighboring cities. Anybody is buying tools? No, we just have these two silling people for tools. Uh, these are herbs. Sell for 20. T-shirts sell for 10. Uh, fish. Could sell for some fish. We might actually want to sell fish. Um, above like 200 or something. These are weapons. Honey. Hmm. Could sell fish. Let's sell fish. Oh wow, it's selling above 20. Let's sell above like 200 instead. I don't, I'm not sure if that number counts our total inventory, if that only counts what is in the warehouse. I hope it counts for uh, the whole inventory of the whole uh, island, or the whole uh, colony. Alright, the sheep are just grazing wherever. That's okay, they're free to be sheep wherever they want to be sheep. It's all good. Okay, we have two transporters already assigned. This is most excellent. Looks like just adding another windmill and another bakery really pushed our bread count up. I don't know though if it's because maybe they're relying on more fish instead. We are going down in berries. I think we had a little bit more before. So maybe they're just sort of adjusting their diet around these various things. Uh, that could very well be. now. How is this going? Waiting for a builder. This is, um, interesting. Can we, here, let's pause it and go. Waiting for a builder. Building complete house. We need to figure out builders now. You're filling needs. You're filling needs. You're looking to fill your needs. Going to fetch resources. I wonder where Rhino Heart is going. If he's building a house, he must be because he's not going toward the monastery. Let me try to assign one of these new people to be a builder. Let's see if that works. Okay, so that's female 499. Nope. I'm gonna unassign her. Is this just bugged now? I'm very annoyed that this might be bugged. This is this is very frustrating to me that it doesn't. All right, I think we may have to just delete this. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> this is very annoying. Okay, let's try it again. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be really fine. I'm gonna try not to be annoyed by this, though. I have to say it is early access, so we cannot always expect things to happen the way we always want them to happen. Ooh, decorative bushes. How nice. Right. Uh, we decided that we need a... Let's go and slow the time down while things are happening. Abby A or B. We have... This is Abby A and Abby B. We're going to go with Abby A. Now that we can get glass, we're not really limited by anything. going to have... Put this out here. And you know what? We're going to go for broke. I think maybe um we have a cloister center or cloister corners put this starting over here so if you are not aware the cloisters actually face toward the inside um of the building because you have a lot of times this kind of a uh, courtyard in the middle where where you have your gardens and stuff like this um dorms are good too i think we'll put the We'll put dorms on the corner. Maybe like here-ish. Oh, wow. You can't go very far at all from this thing. Or maybe we could put the dorms here and have the cloister kind of come up from the other side. Could have the dorms there. I think we might even have a door here. Um, there's door A, which is a little thingy-majingy like this. Okay, this does not like door A. Door B is similar. Door C is like that. I think that's okay if we do this. Uh, we also want to have a cross at the top of the church. Very important. Now then, we have this side of stuff. 
where we can start making some proper cloisters here. Yeah, we may have to move this whole thing out again. Um, because being on a hill, this is not ideal. We need to probably look at the landscape and see where this is going to fit best. All right, let's just build it and then we'll move it around based on where we need it to happen. So center, there we go. We could do a cloister corner here. We want to do that, or we could put, I think we might want to put just the dorm on the side. I think we'll do that cloister center, turn it this way. There, like that. I like this idea. And these cloisters can go in, have, they can have doors inside. That That's going to be fine if we do this. No, 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 no. That is not proper. No, no. Okay, move. Oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> oh, look at how you can drag it around. That's very funny. Interesting. Um... I just want to get this to where I can actually see things. It's quite frustrating when you can't. Um, okay, extension. Oh, look at this. We could have an extension like this. Or that could be the extension for the abbey. I wonder if that's what that's for. Extension B. Ah, yeah, we have a bit of an apse there. Uh, and C is a tower. That's actually quite nice to have this tower. Hmm. I'm kind of wondering if I should have this tower on the other side here like this so people can come in and then we can go with an extension. Let's put that there. Extension B. Could have that there and put the cloister on the back side of this. Or the cloister could be on this side of this. Making it a much smaller kind of internal structure here. I think we're going to have... We need to... I wonder though, maybe we should just have extension A off of, of this whole thing. We could do it this way though. Having another building just for workshops or something like that. We'll have our cloister corner here like this um, and then do we want to have a door cloister center B that's the one with the door so that you can pass through I don't really like this idea I think we have we have a nice grand entrance here if we want to all right cloister center here we go another center no no that's not the center there we go and another center here wow Maintenance cost of 91 per day. Wow. That's a bit expensive. <laughs> That's very, very expensive. Can we even afford this? We could look. Let's see. Right. So that would be 91 times 7. Let's see how much that is. Okay. That would be 637 per week added to this figure. So technically we could um afford it but do we want to afford it oh that's very expensive very 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 expensive how much are these things maintenance costs five the cloister corners are, are are only two we could remove a couple of cloister pieces like this and bring those things closer so that's 87. So 87 times 7 is 609. But then we also need to put in the apiary, which is going to cost us, oh, nothing, and the herb garden. Now the question with this whole thing is, should we close it off? Um, and maybe we should even, does this uh, extension give us this thing? I don't know if that's worth even having, to be honest. It's very expensive. We could do this here. 
and then add another cloister wall here. Or we could keep the entire thing open and not have a closed thing uh, until we're richer and can extend the whole thing. Or alternatively, we could have another cloister off to the side, off to one side. That is another option too. Maybe we should have a closed uh, cloister. That actually is... Well, it's definitely traditional, but um, cloister center, center. I wish I would put them in the orientation that I had last. <laughs> it's very strange to do all these things like this. Okay, so that's 89. We can fit the apiary and the herb garden in here, and we could possibly pack them in as well. Um, but this looks quite nice, I think. Um, let's put this back by the road where we were going to have it and see how things look. Oopsies. Um, there we go. Put this like there. Now, is that too crazy for the cloisters? Probably. Yeah, they're, they don't look good at all. Uh, we need to move this to higher ground then. Like a flatter area. Is this good? This actually might be okay up here. I feel like a surveyor. It's like, aha, we have not found the good ground yet. We need to move to higher ground. And it's funny because that's exactly what's happening here. Is that uh, we have had to move it on top of this kind of a hill area. We could even have more uh, houses around here. Something like this. That would work. Um, but I think this this is probably what we want to do. Um, we can add to the cloisters later. We could, since the abbey is the center of this whole thing, we could also add to the front of it as well. So maybe we should move it back just a bit too. Um, and also make just make sure right now that we're adding the things that we need, which are the apiary and, um, and the herb garden. What does the herb garden look like? Whoa, go away. The herb garden is huge. Oh my god. <laughs> it's humongous. Uh, do we want to change this thing? I'm kind of actually wondering. Maybe we should add this instead of a cloister here. Add this in, in as, a, as a thing like this. Let's try this thing. Let's move this out a bit. Um, herb garden. Can we stick it on over here like this? We could. Um, I think that might be worth it, too. And we'll stick the cloister center back on this way. Like that. Ah, that's looking very nice. Okay. Are we having too many villagers come in? No, we're okay. Okay, so we have the herb garden. I don't know. I'm guessing this is where they take the stuff. I hope they don't have to go in and out. That would be annoying. Uh, otherwise, though, I think this is a great place. We'll add our apiary around here. This is such a tiny area. Wow. It's just because it costs so much per day. Let's add the the, uh, um, the bee thing, apiary here. Maybe I'm, Or maybe like this way. This will leave room to add other things. I almost feel like adding it this, well, this way. Yes, everybody in the cloister is going to get stung by bees. Wonderful. Um... Let's just maybe put it here. Okay. I think that'll work. Th these, are, these are just monks on a budget here. <laughs> they have this tiny, tiny little center area. But I think this should work. I hope it does. I am wondering if I should add another herb garden, though. We could. I'll, you know what? Let's do that. Let's just add another herb garden. I don't know how much production each of these gives us per day. Um... This doesn't fit quite that well, does it? No, it does not. There's a tiny gap. Should I spend two butter per day to make that happen? Probably not. Okay, do we want to make the abbey taller? It does cost us more per day. I kind of like having it. A well, we should make it a little bit taller. Just because it's supposed to be the grandest building here. Um cloister 
Oh, I don't know. Should we add this just for completion's sake? Probably. So there's no gap between that building. I think they can get through here. I hope they can. I hope they can walk through. I think this should be fine. If I need to, can we put another apiary in here? Yes, we could add one here if we really want to. We'll leave that as it is. I think this is going to be fine. Wow. So much material. But we can do it. It'll be it'll be okay. Um, I don't think we have any death traps so far. Except for maybe that cloister there. <laughs> that one is... Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and... Oh, brown, blue, or purple? Ooh, this I don't know. Purple? I kind of think this is pretty that way. Brown really appeals to me. Though we do have this brown stuff over here. But monks, since they're always dressed in brown, I'm always very tempted to go with brown. Blue, however, might be quite pretty. Do we have anything blue? No. Let's go with blue. We'll have the blue... Uh, I assume that's the color of the roof. Um, all right, start construction. Let's go. This is going to be extremely expensive, uh, but that's okay. I, I think it's going to be very nice. And I think we need to also clear out this ah, forbidden land. We can get rid of this whole thing as well. Get rid of this zone. Oh, I forgot that you wouldn't take other zones off. Um, in fact, maybe I should just... Ooh, I wonder if that's a thing. Maybe because the thing was in the Forbidden Zone, maybe that's why the builders didn't work on it. Maybe they're not even allowed to walk there. Oh, right. Oh. What if I could use that to change that road thing that we had in this area? Hmm. Let me just, uh, should I try, should I be sneaky and try that on the middle of a road somewhere? Make them do a roundabout or something? No, no, that's fine. Uh, we'll test it later. Um, all right, so we have our construction site. We do need to add extraction of these trees here. Okay, and we're doing well. Let's see, we have very little bread. We need bread, no! We need bread like crazy. We're getting our builders. I am glad, though, that we changed the whole thing. Because now we know we have stuff going on. We have things that we want to have. We have tons of t-shirts. This is good. And we have lots of other things. I guess in the next episode, we're going to need to start building that farm. Uh, because the bread is not surviving. I am happy that we have a lot of other stuff, though. We've got other foods. Uh, fish we have mountains of. But uh, we're going to need more bread. So bread is our next topic of discussion. Um, but in the meantime, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.